Hello, folks. Welcome back to Build It with Smith. I'm your host, Smith, and we're playing Pocket City 2 today. This is a game that I've actually I played Pocket City 1, and it's on this channel. You can find that video, or I'll link it. I will link it right up here. Um, and it was a pretty uh, fun game. Uh, one thing I remember about it uh, was what you see right here. The graphics, very bright. Um, I don't know if I would call these pastel colors, but they do kind of give it that kind of a light feel um, in the game. So I would say that it's very visually pleasing in the game. Uh, the graphics was kind of unique. Um, now, I think on, you know, they're trying some new things with this game. So let's go ahead and get right into it, starting a city. Um, and... I say that just because looking at some of the previews, it seems like there may be some different aspects in the game that may be uh, actually kind of cool. Alright, so here is the tutorial. Welcome to Pocket City 2. As the new mayor, your goal is to grow our small town into a booming metropolis. Well, isn't that always uh, the goal? Let's start with the basics. Okay, we're starting the tutorial, guys. And so we've got some interesting um, characters standing right in front of us, especially uh, how the pendulum kind of swings in the uh, attire here from the lumber, lumberjack tight to the, the cat in the suit and tie right there. And uh, the lady kind of business casual right in the middle. Yay! Okay. Oh, all right. And they're excited. So. Let's get started. As you can see, we have a town hall and not much else. Okay, tap there. As your first, act, uh, for your first act as mayor, why don't we build a longer road? Why don't we? Okay, build. Road. All right, it's gonna cost us 400 bucks. Confirm, and there's our road. Great, next build residential zones to provide housing for new citizens let's do that and we'll tap zones residential okay it's a not quite all right that's going to cost us two grand and we'll drop that there okay yeah i remember this game uh as i'm getting more into it all right i'll give you guys kind of a, a preview there as we're uh, getting things set up. All right, we got these. This uh, what are these lovebirds, or are they in a fight? It's hard to tell. Uh, just chilling up there. All right, excellent. Next, build industrial zones to provide jobs for the citizens. And go to zones again. Industrial zones. A couple of those right there. Three to be exact spaces uh, perfect next build commercial zones for businesses and back to commercial zones right there yep that's where I would do that twenty four hundred dollars there for the commercial zones okay great all three zones all three zone types are important for the balanced economy but um, looks like they're gonna start asking for some power utilities we will earn. We will earn enough. Ca uh, we will earn cash through property taxes, income taxes, and sales tax from these zones, right? However, we need to supply power and water to our zones. Let's build a power plant. There we go. And the power plant. So, uh, I yeah, I like the descriptions here of the buildings just right there in front of you. Uh, you don't have to tap any anything. Uh, it's just right here in front of you, and you can kind of scroll, I guess, all of your power options. So a different way, different menu uh, to, to, you know, different way to look at it, something I point out. All right, drop that right there. Nice job. We also need to supply drinking water using a water tower. Water tower. Go to water. Drop 10 grand for a water tower. And alright, so oh, just when you thought we were good, we're not. Perfect. We also need to dispose of wastewater. Build a sewage drain. Back to buildings. And sewage drain. 
Alright. Um, I should be reading these descriptions. Shouldn't I? But it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, pushing me along. Uh, so I really don't have a say-so in where I'm putting these buildings anyway. Perfect. Keep sewage under control or else it'll overflow. What's happening on the, what's happening to the people there? Um, uh, the roads seem to be cracked and everybody is doing the latest TikTok dance, I guess. Yeah, that's definitely what's happening. All right, perfect. Keep sewage under control or else it'll overflow. Got it. Oh, okay, yeah, let's talk about that. Now, you see those cracks in the roads? Roads may become damaged over time, and buildings may collapse from fires or disasters. Dang. All right, build, and now we have to repair. And we're gonna drag to repair or repair all for, I can't see what that says, but we're gonna say repair all. Excellent, now we have a functioning town. Okay. The demand graph shows you which zones are the most needed and should be next, or should be built next. Okay. By the way, we have a gift for you, but first, what do you look like? Ah, myself as a mayor. Okay, so this is another aspect. I get to um, kind of create my own self as a mayor here, so I, I, I think that's pretty cool. Um down to the eyes oh, my eyes are kind of shaped like that kind of almond shape and then I have black hair okay oh okay yeah we do have different hairstyles here so that's pretty neat that we have all those hairstyles I can rock the fro Like it had a goatee. Oh no, that's a ponytail. Got me with the facial hair, or can I do the facial hair later? This one's just a smooth, smooth cut. Yeah, I'm a businessman here. Businessman. All right. And so we can even get down to the face, and we can have. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. All right. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. I think we're gonna go like that. All right, and do I need a hat? I don't need a top hat. Uh, I'm rocking the suit, that's okay. I, I wanna keep it business. The shoes are okay. And I don't actually wear glasses in real life, but you know, I'm trying to ch change my image here in the game so I can apply for this loan for uh, all these buildings I wanna build. All right, now, nice. Come back to the town hall and take a closer look. Okay, so I tap here and choose a beginner tool for your avatar. Receive starting tool. All right, uh, tutorial gift. You have been gifted a free tool. Tools can be equipped, can be equipped onto your avatar to perform actions. Hammer repairs, or hammers, repair damaged roads and buildings for free. Axes can be used to acquire wood from trees. Okay, choose a tool to retrieve. Uh, oh, okay, so I think I'm gonna do the, the simple axe because I may need to gather wood. <clears throat> And that seems like just a good, an easy way to do that. So we get the simple Yay! axe. And why did she cheer? She doesn't have an axe. All right, so try out your new axe. Drag and drop your avatar into the tree to collect the wood. So do I need to go get the avatar? Where did you go? This avatar here? This guy? Is that who they mean? Try out your new guy. Drag and drop. Oh, okay, I guess I probably have to tap you. All right, drag avatar. Oh, this avatar. And I'm gonna gather wood this way. He is he is chopping. I'm chopping in my seat. Maybe I should have uh, actually put on the, the lumberjack outfit there. All right, great work. You can also use your avatar to walk around freely in free roam. Oh, really? Uh, try dropping your avatar onto a road or flat on flat ground to enter free roam. Okay. 
Ooh, maybe not on the street. Whoa. Hey, this is neat. Welcome to Free Roam. Control your avatar to explore the city. You'll find rewards and random encounters as your city grows larger. Wow. Have you guys ever seen this in a game? Have I just been... Is What's wrong, buddy? Oh, hey. Wow, so a little... Uh, a little Sims, a little Sim City, but it's Pocket City, Pocket City 2, actually. So this wasn't in Pocket City 1. Definitely not in Pocket City 1. Wow, this is uh, this is pretty neat, actually. So I can build a city, and then I can go and kind of explore, um, kind of explore my own freaking city. That's pretty cool. Is that guy got the wood? It kind of makes me want to build some cooler things here. So, all right. And I can also take some pictures. So, is that what that is right there? Yeah, I can take a picture. Take a picture of me right here on the beach. Yeah, zoom in a little bit. Take a sophisticated picture. I don't see anything that's allowing me to take the picture. Now, I see I can change the time of day. I can make it night. Start simulation. Um, I just don't know how to take the picture. Maybe I would take it by just doing a screenshot. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. I can set up the picture how I want here the time of day. I don't know what bloom means. Okay, that's something dealing with uh, the saturation or something. And pixelate, I guess. Okay, yeah. So, now that's pretty cool, though. All right, but we're back. And what is this, a running? What is that running button? Do? Oh, it jumps. Oh, so I can actually get down. I can actually get around in this city. But let me get back to, let me get back to building here. All right, so great. Those are the basics. Expand your city, complete quest to level up and unlock more buildings. Remember to check your stats to see which metrics need to be improved. I have your first quest ready for you at the town hall. Oh, <laughs> I have your first request ready for you at the town hall. Check it out. Oh, right, let's go check that out. Yay! Man, that chick is always happy. Okay, so let's tap on this um, question mark. Greetings. And here she is. Uh, this is Anna, our city advisor. She says, how is it going? The administrative building for the city visits visit to set tax rates. Oh, is she talking to us? Uh, nice day, isn't it? Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to do I just tap quest. Anna wants you to build 10 residential zones. And we can accept that. We're going to get 24,130. That's an odd amount. Uh, but uh, it's kind of... It's actually a little... It's a little sketchy, that amount. There. Maybe. Anyway. Yay! Let's hit accept. Um, and she's so nice, though. Hope your day is going well. All those nice things she said. I guess we leave. I guess, that, I guess I'll... So let's build... The residential zone so we don't want to do that over there we do have a couple of houses over here I like the um, I like the trees um, I suppose that we can build some more roads kind of headed back this way All right all right for 600 and we will put a couple of houses there so let's there's five right there. Yeah, let's, let's just have them go. Oh no. Let's just go ahead and get them down. All right, we got that request done for Anna. And our houses are popping up. Trash management. Trash is now being produced by your citizens. 
Dispose of trash with landfills and other services. Proper trash management improves the environment and health of citizens. All right. This will be a great place to live. All right. Kind of looks like there's going to be some traffic problems happening too. So let's go to build. And how do we how do we find this, this landfill here? All right, it's going to be under one of these, right? One of these services. Landfill, there it is. All right, so let me read it this time. Landfill holds up to 30,000 kilograms of waste, uh, but it creates pollution and cannot be demolished. It uses roads and it costs 250 a day. All right, yeah, that's some good information. I um, apologize for not reading uh, some of those other ones that were there. All right, well, I figure since... No, I'm not going to put it by the water. Um, where should I... Where could I? I don't want to place it by... Although, you kind of feel like you might as well put it over here. Just because... It's already... A little messed up. Only thing is, my road doesn't go that direction now I don't know about putting it there because there's a nice little lake here and why waste that you know why waste all that uh, real estate but I do need to come up with a place to put it what is this right here I notice are these so that may be some something to dig I don't want to mess that up so where then can I put that I have residences over here I I feel like maybe can I move I wonder if I can move buildings so can I move the power plant yeah maybe I'll oh can I move it I can move it all right what I want to do though is maybe I'll move the water tower so move the water tower and I'll just place that there. All right, and now I'll come back and we can build this landfill. Hopefully, that'll fit right there. Okay, so that's not that bad. At least it's, you know, creating a lot of pollution together. I uh, probably should move, well, I can't really, one of those is, yeah, so. Well, I guess we need to find some ways to get more money, right? Because we're down to $15,000 now. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and look at, then, our metrics meter. Looks like we need some more industrial zones. So let's get that going and try to figure out where those can populate so let's put some let's put about three right there because that's how many we built last time I guess you know I'm gonna try to stick to the same kind of uh, frequency of buildings that they displayed in the tutorial and let's kind of see what happens there looks like they want some more commercial now and is anything happening with the industrial we'll, we'll give it a little bit of time with the industrial see if that goes down any but um, I guess we can go ahead and give them these commercial buildings let's see some stuff get built so we'll build these commercial buildings kind of uh, I would say yeah kind of just directly across from from the other ones I wasn't sure at first but I guess I guess we are gonna do that okay now what was that noise something something happening are we achieving something there all right so that was enough for the commercial that went way down okay now the one thing I'll say about this game and uh, you can't see this right now because you can't see my hands but uh, you're not able to spin around I'm just 
I'm, I'm just limited to this view this kind of angle right here so um, one thing I you know so I guess though they make up for the fact that you could walk around the city and look anywhere you want to anyway so that's um, that's kind of a plus still <laughs> okay so um okay more industrial huh I was trying to give it some time to um, kind of simmer down it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen so we'll build some more industrial and hopefully this time it start to push that down because I don't want to build a factory town now it's got to probably I mean we did drop a lot of houses though or did we did we I don't know if we, if we really did all right so let's take a look at our money can I tap that no it's just I just look at it so it's is it it's going up at least slowly but surely our money is increasing and citizens in the town we have 233 um, okay now uh, I kind of feel like I should be able to tap on some of these but it's not I'm not able to tap on any of those icons on the top row now I can tap on that and so what is this going to show me uh, maybe let's look at traffic all right so ooh, this is showing me the is, is this red for like is this is this red or like red as in is highlighting it or is it red as in this is bad it looks kind of bad right here but I mean it's saying that the whole road is bad and some people don't even have any anything going on there but the whole road can't be bad or can it um, let's see if we can figure how to upgrade the roads or if I remember that now when I uh, okay do I I don't know how I don't know how I would go about doing that tapping there okay so would I just build it directly on top yeah that seems to be what happens okay so I would just build the road directly on top of the other one and it's gonna simultaneously bulldoze now let me make sure I have enough money to do all of this because hopefully this is something okay it unlocked a small movie theater so that's fine so we'll we'll um let's check let's check it out now let's see if we improve the roads any all right well i guess i guess we did okay but they're still acting like there's so much traffic in this neighborhood i don't understand why they can't just be happy with the road that they have there i'll go ahead and upgrade them okay so there's that guys all right you got your little, your, your little yellow stripes now okay so we're down in money we got to get back up um we don't have very many people checking into the city necessarily so let me tap on this right here to see what's going on how are you quest available hello ranger patrick He's in charge of park and recreation. All right, Ranger Patrick wants you to build a small park. Recreation spots such as parks help entertain citizens and keep them happy. Task, build a small park. And we will get $24,523. I guess we should also add, uh, we'll get 820 XP and relations now they didn't really talk about relations or tell us why we should care about them at this point so i guess that'll come later yeah okay now where did that fridge run off to should i be tapping these oh oh okay i thought that was something for me to tap okay so let's uh go to our new building here 
and we'll go to recreation so don't you guys like the graphics I like the graphics I can dig it so we got a small park for 5,000 provides recreation for 50 citizens uses water and a road and then we've got uh, we also unlock the small theater which provides recreation for 50 citizens as well there's also a beach um, and we do have kind of like a little beach area so we could do that and I don't know what the season thing means maybe that means that it only works at a certain season uh, I don't know so that's gonna make everybody happy huh now do we need to put that on a road or can we just put that there let's see if we can just place that right there behind the building we can low on funds are we oh yeah I guess so improving your stats will help increase your income you can also borrow from a bank or don't want to do that adjust your taxes at the town hall or play a mini game to earn cash you know what I'm gonna take that last one playing the mini game so what do they mean by mini game is this like something that I can do in the game or are they talking about a um, you know oh no here it is right here okay so I thought maybe they were talking about an ad or something no mini game okay so mini games drive around the city in your car ride share drive citizens to their desk you know what this is tight this is tight guys I got I had to bring that word back tight that's a word from the late 90s me and my friends used to say when something was cool and say it was tight this is tight so all right so we're driving now and how do we oh now we're in the car all right so I just tap that all right man what kind of game does this want to be oh ooh, we're GTA now oh crap we're GTA now guys all right here we go oh oh stunt now we're now we are in a movie Oh, nice jump in the air timing count. Oh, am I in the water? Did I get out? Oh, am I am I in the water? Oh no, 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 no. All right, we're out. Ooh, it's dark. All right, let me see. I want to use this nitro, guys. That pull up. Back up. Ooh, I got some music playing. All right, let's go. Let's use this nitro. We're using nitro. Ooh. Right. Right, I think I messed that up. Okay. Um, am I in the water? Get out. Get out of here. Get back to the road. Right, let's get back to the road. Here. here we are. All right, so there is... You know, I almost forget that I'm in the city that I created, so I should know where everything is at. Excuse me. Yeah, let's get going. As a matter of fact, I know where the shortcuts are at. Excuse me. Ooh. Oh. Oh, watch that. Oh, so I'm right, going to cut through here. All right, go through this undeveloped area. There's where I got that treasure there. You can see it right there. A couple of treasure boxes. Treasure boxes. And... Hey, guys, we're at the water tower. And what's going What's that light right there? Is that the, what is that? Is that the mini game? Is that need to get out? What is this mean? What's that? Hey, what's happening? What's happening here, guys? Am I getting, where, where's that light? Where'd the light go? All right, let's go back to the sea. All right, guys, that was pretty cool. Hey, man, there's a lot of stuff to do in this game. I mean, I'm almost overwhelmed by the amount of things to do in this game and uh, I could probably make an hour and a half maybe even video from this because one thing I do remember about it is it was pretty easy uh, the flow of the game uh, you could actually build out a city if you can just really kick back and you have some spare time you in no time could unlock a lot of these and really get a nice city going and I mean, that was just that. I mean, the fact that you can walk around in the city and even drive around in the city 
Now, this is a great game, especially for like a, I would think a, a, a kid even, um, you know, uh, some someone that likes Minecraft, you know, maybe a step up or, you know, something a little, I, I never got into Minecraft myself. It's, it's pretty cool, but, uh, you know, other members of my family did, but uh, I didn't, but anyway, um, that's Pocket City 2. And um, I think we'll be back for another Pocket City. Uh, this was going to be episode one. So this is episode one. And uh, let me just let you guys know. It's actually 1247 in the morning. So if I sound a little tired, uh, it's because it's 1247. Uh, that's past midnight. But, you know, I really wanted to check out this game, Pocket City 2. And uh, it's lived up to the recommendation all right. Peace out, guys. It's Builder with Smith. Going to sleep. Ha <laughs> ha.